Hey everybody, it's Nicole and welcome to my channel. I wanted to share with you a project that I created for a very dear friend. This altar canvas bag is going to Wanda, who is Boxy Bell here on YouTube. And Wanda and I talk um, off and on through um, YouTube and messaging. So um, I wanted to make her something nice just to thank her for, um, you know, being the wonderful person that she is and um, for sending me some you know wonderful goodies for me and my granddaughter and um just for her reaching out and just for being so thoughtful you know do, to do things that she didn't have to do so i just wanted to tell her thank you and i wanted to show her how much i appreciated her so um when i made an altar canvas bag for um luisa diaz in our swap um Wanda commented about how much she liked it so I wanted to make one for her too and I'm going to fill hers with some goodies as well but this is the canvas bag it's um the same style of bag that I made for Louisa it has the pockets um in the front so excuse me if the video is shaky but I have to um hold it I have to hold the phone so you guys can see the whole thing so it has the pockets in the front still and um it can sit on her on her um, craft desk or you know wherever she wants to hang it or put it so with Wanda's bag I went with wipes and creams and um, I added a little pop of color with some um, pink and um, light green seam binding and some pink string pearls so I'm gonna lay it down and then I'm gonna stand up so that you can see the bag better so this is what the bag looks like and that's the handle of the bag and the front of the bag and then I'll turn it over and the back I just left it pretty clean I didn't do too much to the back because I figured if it's sitting down or hanging up you wouldn't really see the back so that is the back of the bag and I just have some um, Chinese braid on the side just to um, hide the the um, where the patterns meet the fabric meet. So on this bag, I added some eyelash trim in there, and then I used um, some lace, some cream lace that I got from Hobby Lobby, and then I added another layer of eyelash trim, and then I used some lace, some white ruffle lace, and then I have some white crochet lace that I actually pinched together to make like a ruffle on it, and then I have some more um, a heart trim from Hobby Lobby, some more eyelash trim, some more of that lace, another um, lace here from Hobby Lobby, and then the ruffle lace, and then some more eyelash trim, and some box white box pleated trim, and then I have a cream rosette trim on top of that, and then I lined it with some pink iridescent pearls, and then it just repeats the pattern, it's just some, some more um, scallop lace from Hobby Lobby, eyelash trim, some white scallop lace from Hobby Lobby, some more of that beige eyelash trim and some white eyelet trim to go around the top with that um, box pleat trim is on the inside to give it a little ruffle on the top. And then I have the pink and green seam binding, a little rhinestone bow there, and this really pretty tag is what inspired me for the um, the pink and the green colors so I just use that there and put it on the side and it just says thank you on the back and I use that um, paper from the debutante collection to put on the back of the tag so I thought it was really pretty and I put that on top there the handle just has the box pleat trim with that um, flower trim from Hobby Lobby and the pink iridescent pearls that go around the handle and um, the underside of the handle is done as well, but no trim, no um, beads there. And the inside is just lined with that trim, with the beads and the um, box pleat trim. Just to, so I have something peeking up at the top of the bag. So that is the bag. I'm sorry that it's so shaky, you guys, but that's the only way you're going to really see the bag is if I hold it in my hand. So that's the bag for Wanda. So if you give me a second... I will show you what else I um, created for her. So let me just sit this down for a minute. Sorry, shaky. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So I'm going to sit this down for a minute. And then I will show you 
what else I created for Wanda. I made this cute little mini lace book for her. <laughs> and I thought it came out really, really cute. Hold on one second, guys. I'm going to cover you up so I can move. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So I made this really cute little lace book. And I got this idea from Louisa. Sorry, my camera was falling. So I got this idea from Louisa. I kind of scrap lifted it from her. I saw her that she did a little that she did a lace book for um Natalie, who is Natalie put some bling on it. So I just made a little one and it's as you can see, it's not very big. Um very small. I used the butterfly collection from Prima. I had some wooden letters that I just embossed with some white opaque embossing powder and then I put some diamond stickles on the top and just some cream and pink pearls on the sides. I stickled the flowers with some um, diamond stickles and put some cream and pink pearls there. On the side it's just held together um, I don't know what you call those things. The, um, as you can see it in there, those dog tag like chains I guess and then I just put some um, different colors of pink and um, brown trims there and some fibers. And then the back is that same butterfly collection paper. So one 12 by 12 sheet of paper made all of these, um, covered this whole album for me. And I just put her in some, some lace, you know, that I had in my stash. So I decided to share. And the laces is just white and creams to stay with the um the thing that I was using. So I hope Wanda likes it. So that was just something extra that I made for her. And I wanted to show her how much I appreciated her. So and that's the little lace book. And I thought it came out um really, 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 really <laughs> super cute there. So I will come out a little bit so you can see it. And I'm sorry for the lighting. That it sucks. But I thought it came out really cute. So Wanda, I hope that you like this. And if you guys are looking at it, Wanda already has received her gift. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I do have some... I have another project coming up that I'm making for someone. So um, stay tuned for that. And um, thank you guys very, very much. Make sure you check out Wanda's channel. She's Boxy Bell here on YouTube. Thanks, guys. Bye.